How's it going boys? Johnny Superb Man here and I'm bringing you a quick update to the Superb Men's Fantasy Postseason. You know, we're going into the Stanley Cup Finals. I haven't updated you guys in a while, but uh, our uh, five-man competition is pretty much written itself out by now. We still don't have a, a victor, but uh, I'm pretty sure three of us have already been eliminated. So let me get into this. Domsky is still clearly a number one. His Pittsburgh Penguins did him great in the three rounds that they were there, but no longer and he's down to th only having three players left. Kryptonite, he was doing good with the LA Kings, but also got eliminated due to the Chicago Blackhawks, leaving him with only three players left. Johnny Superb, man, myself, with picking the Boston Bruins, still uh, working for me. Eight players left, more than double, with still one round remaining. Only 24 points behind Domsky, all right? It is possible. Rotes all over the place. He only got three players left. He's not going to come back into it. And pray for eyes, he was out in the first round. He's not coming back into it either, okay? So we'll go into uh, Domsky's team here. And, you know, the Boston Bruins, and the Pittsburgh Penguins, I mean, the best thing possibly happened. Pittsburgh out in four games, and they only got two goals, right? I mean, look at round three. Uh, Corey Crawford, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, look at the uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins in round three for Domsky. Letang, zero points. Crosby, zero points. Iginla, zero points. Dupuis got him one. Uh, Kunitz, one point. Uh, right? So his big guns didn't show up in the third round and they got eliminated while my Boston Bruins, they were kicking it. Now I wish it went a little bit longer, but you know, hopefully I can catch him in the finals, but Dom still does have from Chicago, Corey Crawford, all right, Duncan Keith and Nick Letty. So he still has enough players there to maintain that lead if it's a quick series. So Domsky still ha has the advantage, I'd say, okay? Uh, we'll, we'll go to uh, Kryptonite next. Uh, Kryptonite, he is still in second, but I think he would have been in a better uh, position if LA was still there. All right, round three for him, he still had uh, Jonathan Quick, Slava Voinov, Anze Kopitar, Drew Doughty. All right, if LA made it to the final, then he would have had uh, a bunch of players there that could have won it if LA was the team to win the cup. But now he's in the final and he's only got Patrick Kane, which is a great player to have. He can maybe get a few points from that, but he's got to catch Domsky. I don't think he can catch Domsky with Patrick Kane, uh, Brendan Saad, and Brent Seabrook. Because if those three players do good, then Corey Crawford, Nick Letty, and Duncan Keith from Domsky is going to do good. And Kryptonite's got to make up like 20-something points, right? So I only think Kryptonite can get to second place. I don't think he can catch Domsky. But I think... I can definitely catch Domsky, right? I went uh, about this um, the way you would a marathon, right? It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. I felt like everybody else, they chose the best players. And in round one and round two, yeah, they were way in first place. But now here comes round four, and here comes Superb, man, all right? I still have Krejci, leading scorer in the playoffs, I think. I got Brad Marchand, who woke up after that first round. I still have Patrice Bergeron. He's woken up. Zidane Ochara, no points in the third round, but still has 11. You know he's good for uh, at least a few points here in round four. All right, Yarmir Yager, who definitely woke up. You know he's got to get a goal eventually. He's playing with uh, Bergeron and Marchand. Tyler Sagan, who's done butt fuck all in the playoffs, right? Hopefully he wakes up. Dougie Hamilton, I should have taken uh, uh, Boychuk and Crew. Well, how the hell would I have known to take Crew? I definitely should have taken Boychuk, though. And uh, Seidenberg, you know, I wanted to go with Seidenberg. He is getting the games. He's not getting any points, though, okay? So I definitely think I can come back in this. You know, I, I'm, so, I'm such a genius, but I'm such a dumbass as well, right? It was such a genius move to pick the Boston Bruins, because look how far they are now and to load up their whole team with them. But a complete dumbass to not choose Nathan Horton and uh, Milan Lucic. All right, I took a Yager and Sagan instead of having Lucic and Horton. I mean, we go to scoring here. Uh, hang on, let me just... Uh, whoa, 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 scoring. We're leading scorers, right? Go to the leading scorers of the, uh, the playoffs so far. Hang on a second here. What's going on? Come on, internet work for me right now. Oh, there you go. All right. Leading scorers right now, right? Number one in the playoffs, David Krejci. Great pick. Number two, Nathan Horton. He's a free agent. He wasn't taken. Imagine if I had Krejci and Horton by the third, by the uh, Stanley Cup Finals now. I'd be way up there. There's 17 points. I'm only behind by 24, I think. There's 17 points I left on the table with Nathan Horton. So, my fault right there. Genius idea for choosing the Boston Bruins. Dumbass idea for not taking Nathan Horton. We go down here. Brian Bickles there. Down here, Milan Lucic. Free agent, okay? So... There was my mistake. If I lose this, if I lose this fantasy postseason, it's not because anybody else beat me. It's because I beat myself. It's because I didn't choose Milan Lucic and Nathan Horton, two players who were in the top 15. Horton, who's second in the NHL, okay? I should have had those guys instead of uh, uh, Sagan and Yager. And we go back to home. 
Again, if I would have had those two players, look, I'm only 24 points behind Domsky. I mean, add in the 17, you got to take away the points that Yager and Sagan got. But I'd be a lot closer. That's my point, right? So the big question is, oh, I can, you know what? Yeah, I won't be an asshole. I'll show you Rotes and uh, Praise team. Rotes, again, he's got Hosa, he's got Tuka Rask, he's got Patrick Sharp left. He's got some great players. Where Rotes went wrong was he had too many players that just meant shit. Like Paul Martin. Well, Paul Martin was bad. But, like, he went with uh, Chicago. He went with Pittsburgh. He went with the Rangers with Lundqvist and Nash. He went with Daniel Sedin. He went with Ovechkin. He went with Del Zotto. He went with Andre Markov. All these different players. By the time the final comes around, you know you're going to lose a lot of them. Pray for eyes made the worst mistake, though. I mean, Carey Price, Roosevelt. I mean, let me screw the players. Let me just name the teams. Chicago, San Jose, Toronto, Anaheim, Anaheim, Rangers, Montreal, Vancouver, Anaheim, St. Louis, Chicago, Montreal, all over the place. You knew he was gone, all right? But here's the team that I'm hoping that we can win it, all right? Right here, the Boston Bruins. So do you guys think that I have a chance to catch Domsky in the final, right? Domsky's only going to get points from these three players. Again, Duncan Keith, Corey Crawford, and Nick Letty. Do you think that my Boston Bruins can get enough points? Where'd I go? Hang on a second here. I'm sorry. Jesus, why did I go all the way back? There you go. Do you think that I have enough points to catch Domsky in the seven-game series? All right, I don't know. It's possible. One goal can get me three points if two people get an assist, but that is a lot of points to make up. Do you think I can catch him? Let me know, boys, and I will see you next time.